How's it going? I'm doing fine. How about you? Good, good. Oh, there's Drew right there. Me and Drew are in. We're in. Morning. Hi, Hi there. Hi. Hi, Drew. Hi. How are you? Good. How about how about yourself? Yeah, I'm fine. So uh, it's uh, very early in your in your time, right? <laughs> yeah, it's eight. Yeah, it's eight a.m. here. Yeah. <laughs> Saturday morning, Hello. eight a.m. Yeah. We don't have uh, Chris. Uh, Chris, I think, is having a little bit of trouble this morning. He kind of popped into the Discord, and then he uh, popped out again. So we'll just start without him. If he uh, ends up popping in, we'll um, we'll get to some of his questions a little bit later on. I think there was only one that was really directed at him. The rest we can pretty much answer. So. Okay, yeah. So uh, let me show these questions. Yeah, I don't have your uh, oh reply on text, so I uh, I have to uh, translate the uh, by myself. <laughs> oh, sorry, here you know what? Um, damn it! I thought I sent it to you yesterday. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, we can do uh, it by recording. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I'm good at that. Oh yeah, see, I <laughs> I didn't send it. I kept it in my draft <laughs> folder. Uh, okay, I'll send you a, a transcript after. Um, yeah, it, it'll be changed up a little. Oh, Chris is back in, in anyways. Here we go. Um, he's coming. So, okay, let me uh, uh, welcome uh, everyone uh, to our uh, AMA today, and especially our guests, Ryan and uh, Drew. They are from uh, uh, Mammotverse, uh, Mammotverse uh, NFT team. Actually, that's the first NFT project on Chia Network. Um, okay, I will say in, in, in Chinese now. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, uh, 欢迎各位小伙伴又按时来参加我们今天的AMA。今天我们邀请到的团队是来自加拿大的叫Marmotverse这么一个NFT为主的项目团队。那实际上在大家都玩得很嗨最近啊这个NFT实际上今天的团队是在起亚链上第一个第一个NFT的这个团队在去年就已经开始了在一月份呢今年一月份呢他们进行了首次的预售就是用CAT进行预售这种方式也
然后这个嗯、呃，他呢是负责一些呃网络安全方面的事情啊。OK。Okay, that's cool. Uh, so, uh, Drew, I will, I'm very interested about the、uh, how you painting your your、uh, artworks like this.、Uh, that's what you make on the screen. Yeah, yeah the one、uh, actually. So you had the the space rats behind you, and it's somewhat similar in, in that style. But、uh, it it kind of started when Ryan approached me about getting into the group. I was the last one actually to join the team. And, and when he approached me about he's looking for an artist,、um, he was actually looking for a, an eight bit or a sixteen bit artist. And in the back of my mind, I instantly said no. <laughs>、um, th that wasn't my style. It's、uh, my style is more realistic than than anything in the past. And I've taken a, a bit of more of a lighter approach on on the marmot, the space marmots themselves when we're drawing them. And it's it's not 16 bit. It's actually a much more higher.、Uh, I don't want to say higher quality because there's nothing wrong with 16 bit either, right? You can you can get a lot of depth with that. But I did take it in a much more detailed approach than what I would、uh, call 16 bit or an 80 or 8 8 bit. Sorry. So、mm -hmm. for for me, it is、um, it's a little bit higher quality in a, in a sense, a lot more detail and a, and a lot more colors too, right? We have the whole spectrum of a rainbow. Why not use it all? And that's kind、mm -hmm. of been my focus. And then I draw everything actually on my iPad too. A lot of people will use Photoshop or their iPad. I use Procreate on my iPad, and that's why I've created everything. And we've done it in layers, which allows me to manipulate certain aspects of our marmots or the background or weapons or whatever I have kind of designed at the moment. Okay, so uh, it's uh, directly on the computer, right? Yeah. So yeah, but my app, my iPad is a, is a, essentially a tablet, right? So I draw just. I sit on my couch and get to drawing. <laughs> I got you. 呃，那么这个柱呢，我请他也简单介绍了一下，他自己是一个原先是一个这个呃做呃这个空间设计啊，就是你看到这个后面的那个呃屏幕上后面的这种这种呃，就是有点像这种商业空间那种布置啊，做这种东西的。那么他也是呃呃最后一个加入这个团队的，呃，他们三个人啊。然后是拉他一起来做这个 NFT 啊、呃，那么在这个，呃，感觉上呢，就是，呃，呃，感觉上呢，就是这个，呃，分辨率啊，分辨率，呃，会更要求的更，呃，更高一些啊。那么他现在的画画呢，他都是用这个 iPad 啊，用 iPad 在这个上面直接用，现在有那种触触笔，直接就可以，呃，开始画了。Okay,、uh, so how did you guys start、uh, Marvel the Worlds NFT project, and why, and why do you want to start that kind of project? Ryan, Ryan, you're muted, buddy. Sorry, I,、um, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'm good at doing that. So、um, Marvel first kind of started as a little bit of a joke.、Um, online one day we were kind of just all、um, on Twitter.、Um, Just fooling around, and it was it kind of started from Marmot Coin. So I'm not sure if you're familiar familiar with Marmot Coin, Jack. But、um, yeah, so we we just kind of thought it would be funny to、uh, to kind of play off of that, and、um, you know, do a do a collection of NFTs、uh, based off of marmots. Okay. 呃，我问他，呃，怎么开始启动这个 Marvelverse 的这个项目的？他说，其实起源于，呃，去年在推特上他们互相开玩笑啊，呃，一个玩笑开始的。呃，那实际上是跟这个，嗯 ，Marvel Coin 有关系啊。Marvel Coin 实际上是在起亚上面最早的一个 CAT， 呃，那那个很多老的矿工可能都接触过啊，呃，也得到了不少的这个 Marvel Coin 啊。呃 ，M R M T， 呃，所以，嗯，他们就决定，呃，呃，做一种这种可以收藏的关于这个 Marmot 的这个，呃，不光是有 Coin， 不光是有这个看不见摸不着的这个 C A T， 呃，还应该有一种能够，呃，形象的展现出来的东西。So that's that's very、uh, interesting for me, especially for Chinese people. Um, there are many, uh. Marmot projects in 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 Chia, and、uh, we don't understand why. 
that's that kind of a little <laughs> <laughs> animal. Uh, yeah, it's a lovely. Yeah, like this. But uh, we know it's a kind of uh, mm, uh, rare, you know, uh, animal. Uh, being yeah. Protected by by Canada uh, government, but yeah. uh, we still. No, no sense. Make, make me yeah, no sense. so it's it's they're 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 kind of like a, a little bit more of a funny version of a panda. Um, yeah, there's actually a, um, a marmot on Vancouver Island in British Columbia. Um, I'm here in Canada, and yeah, they they um, there's there's only like a, a couple hundred of them left, and um, yeah, there's a foundation that we're going to be donating ten um, percent of all of the mint. Uh, proceeds to um, to help uh, actually save this rare breed of marmot that only exists in one place in the world, and that's um, on Vancouver <laughs> Island in BC. Okay. Uh, well, wouldn't have just uh, 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 就是关于这个呃土拨鼠的问题啊。实际上，我们知道在起亚的这个链上有好几个呃。就是土拨鼠的相关的这个项目，那为什么土拨鼠会这么在，呃，在那儿受欢迎呢、啊？用这个题材，呃，实际上土拨鼠呢，在呃北美地区是一种珍稀动物啊、呃，跟有点类似咱们这个大熊猫的这种啊一样的。那他们在呃加拿大呢，因为这两位都是来自加拿大，包括 Chris 都是，在加拿大呢有一个岛啊，有一个岛是在这个，嗯，是一个土拨鼠的保护。基地，就就就像像像我们大熊猫保护基地一样，那他们现在所有的收入，呃，都会有百分之十捐赠给这个土拨鼠保护基金，啊，来拯救这个、挽救这个土拨鼠这种珍稀动物。嗯 ，OK， I so that's a very good, very nice. Actually, I I have donated uh one hundred dollars to uh Mammoth Foundation last year,、oh. <laughs> so I have one. Nice. Right on.、Yeah. So you got a marmot coin then? Only one. <laughs> oh, that's that's all. They are very rare. That's all it, it takes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 我去年呢也是很有幸得到了一枚这个呃、uh, MRMT 的这个 marmot 的 coin 啊。它一共发行的数量都很少啊，所以呃当时我是捐赠给呃我们四川大熊猫基地的，但是他们呃认为这个都是珍稀动物，所以也都发了一个。给我发了一个 MRNT 啊 ，So, uh, what does NFT means to you? And and do do you guys have any hold any uh other NFT assets in your hand? So I'll I'll start this one off, but I, I'll let <laughs> I'll let Drew take take the, the next part after me because we all all three of us, me, Chris,、uh -huh. and Drew, all have very different um takes on NFTs. Um, I'm probably the most um, uh, NFT friendly. Let's say、um, I do own NFTs on other blockchains.、Um, I actually started out playing GameFi on Binance Smart Chain,、um, but I also own a couple on、uh, Stacks, the Stacks network, as well as Ether.、Um, I was one of the very first. Um, people in the Chia community to start rocking the Pepe as well. So、uh, a lot of the Pepes that I think you actually have a Pepe Jack. So、uh, that that was thanks to me. Yeah. So yeah, I was I was one of the ones that got that kind of started, and I was in those early spaces.、Um, but yeah, I just think there's a lot that you can do with them. And、um, as somebody that kind of comes from from gaming and and and.、Um, Making videos on YouTube and stuff, I definitely see the value of digital ownership, and、um, you know, being able to kind of own the stuff that you have online, be it artwork or music or things like that. So,、um, this this project is kind of a, a first step、um, towards that. Okay, uh, I ask them, um, uh, NFT for you mean, uh, what does it mean? 意味着是什么？然后有没有手上持有其他的一些 NFT？ 呃，他们都呃，这个 Ryan 讲的就是，他们三个人每个人都有不同数量、不同品种的这个 NFT 在手里。呃，每个人的观点也都不太一样，就是哪个更值钱，哪个会涨价，这个观点都不太一样啊。呃，那总的来讲呢，他对这个 NFT 的呃
，这个这个是非常感兴趣的啊。那在这个之前玩游戏啊，还有一些收藏，包括现在这个起亚上面的这个 c a p 啊，这个我一开始那个大青蛙的那个，呃，我们也都有啊。那他认为 NFT 呢是展示了一种这种版权。一种一种收藏的这种价值，对他来讲是，呃，更，呃，更看重的啊，是是是，是他收藏他的这个原因。So how about the Jew? Why why you have this kind of?、Uh, because I I think Jew should have a very uh uh special taste on NFT because he's artistic. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you would think so, right?、Um, <laughs> I actually had had the other option. So my whole world's actually in video games.、Um, I've been an artist my entire life, though. So to to hear video games starting to get incorporated with NFTs kind of irritated me, and I didn't really get the understanding. This is my first world or stepping stone into the world of NFTs, and, and Ryan's kind of helped you know guide me through this, but. When I first heard about it, I thought this was absolutely ridiculous. Like, why does anybody want to do this? I I really didn't get it. And I had friends going, Drew, you you gotta you gotta get into this. You're an artist. Like, you can really kind of gain something out of doing something like this. And and as I started to look into it, it started to really then kind of unfold the the、uh, the opportunities of what really has the potential to to grow into this. And and now I'm actually starting to see. Why we should have it into the world of video games at the same time, right? So NFTs for me started off in a bit of a more of a sour taste in my mouth, but then has slowly grown as I've now been a part of this project and had a better understanding. I've done a lot of research since, and I'm still really new to the to this whole idea. But at the same time, I'm starting to get why things are going the way they are and why NFTs are so meaningful. As a, as an artist, I've had my artwork stolen,、um, and that that really sucks, right? And, and Here, there's a, there's a way to have it because of the blockchain and because of what we're doing and how we're doing it and we're approaching this properly. None of my artwork will ever be stolen again. So I think for me, there's a lot of value in that. Going okay, every time someone buys a marmot, they own that marmot and no one else can take it away from them, right? And that's really special to me. So yeah,、uh, a little bit of a sour taste at the start there, Jack. But I, I've come around full circle, my friend. <laughs> uh, how? 呃，这个柱呢讲的就是这个 NFT， 他呃最早他是转玩这个呃 video game， 就是呃电脑电脑游戏啊。那这块呢，就是从这儿他对这个，其实他现在对 NFT 呃是一个新手啊，就是 NFT 对对他来讲到底意味着是什么，呃，他还在学习。呃，但是他有一个比较切身的一个体验，就是嗯，他以前的，因为他一直他一生就是画家。啊，他一直就是画画，所以他的画呢是被被人家盗起、盗盗走过啊，盗版吧，啊，所以他感觉很很生气、很气愤啊，嗯、呃，那么呃，这个呃 ，Ryan 呢就过来就是 C 叉他啊，就是告诉他这个 n i p 这个好那个好，那他现在逐渐有感觉了，就是现在他卖出去的画，呃，谁买了啊，那么都知道原创作者是谁，呃，谁买了以后也就不会被盗，不会被这个盗版。啊，这个是他的一个切身的一个体会啊。Okay, that's cool. So, uh, uh, Ryan, why why you choose Chia? Because I I you you talk to you, you have other uh NFT assets. Why you choose develop that uh, uh in Chia project? Can I answer that one, Jack? Oh, hi. There we go. Oh, hey, Chris. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing, Chris? And the reason I'm doing, I'm doing better.、Uh, I, I really appreciate you guys having us here、uh, today. This is great. And、uh, I think the answer to your question、uh, sort of answers my question about NFT as well. And for me, it was a technical challenge. So a lot of NFT in my mind, I've written a book of quest mine.、Uh, basically, sell a full block of a permanent asset in my blockchain. And I think that you know, well, the token. The asset itself is not, and、uh, so that's why market versus we are on chain, right? The asset itself, but also Chia and Chia enables that. Like, there's no way we can get 200 terabytes of data into an Ethereum transaction. That would be insane. I don't even think it's practical. We're having、uh, trouble hearing you, Chris. 
Oh, we, no. we cannot hear you. We cannot hear you. I, I, I can kind of jump in here and, and, and take this. So um, Chris is definitely one of those guys that uh, is a security minded, right? So his thing was always, um, you know, making them as secure as possible. Um, one of the problems with um, ERC 721 is it's still built on Solidity, which is the account model, uh, right? So um, that's kind of why Chia is because they're just the the Chia blockchain is is revolutionary. Um, it's it's. It's doing things that other uh, blockchains aren't, and that's kind of what we're going with. Um, we're we're all Chia Chia guys ourselves. Um, so even though yeah uh, yeah we could do uh, an NFT project on say Ether or or Binance, they they don't have the same capabilities as Chia NFTs um, will. Um, so that's the main the main thing is. Just Chia has the techno a, a better technology. Yeah, uh, we uh, we agree actually. But uh, uh, can can you tell us more about uh, the difference between uh, ERC two uh, seven two one and uh, Chia and NFT one? So yeah, so ERC seven twenty one is the account. It's like an account model. So it's a little bit different than the way Chia's NFTs works. Chia's NFTs are built built on UTXO. So the smart contract is actually built in to the NFT itself, as opposed to the NFTs being built around the smart contract. It's a little. It works a little bit differently, and that is where you get the um, added utility that. Chia has kind of promised through through their NFTs, right? Um, and and that's because it's a, it's basically based on on, on a coin set model in UTXO. So the the big advantage of Chia is the security factor of you know if if you want to buy an NFT, you don't have to go and interact with contracts online, and it's very trustless in the sense that you don't have to. Um, understand really how to read a contract. So that's a big thing um, on Ether. And ERC-721 is actually new. Um, they, um, they've, they've added some changes, some capabilities to it. So there's some, there's some fun things that you can do with it, but it's just, I think overall the security is the main thing. And, and she is also adding some things um, over the course of, the NFT standard like data layer that uh, we can do interesting um, things with eventually. Okay. Uh, That's a long-winded answer. Sorry. Uh, uh, <laughs> just I, I have to jump, jump, jump. No, no, no problem. Uh, 刚才问到他就是为什么呃他们会选择起啊？因为既然他们在其他链上也都有这个 NFT 的这个资产，为什么会选择起啊？起啊的这个 NFT 标准，啊，这个也是我们。每次来的嘉宾，我们都会问到的一个问题啊，和 ERC 七二幺，呃，有什么区别？有什么优势？那他谈到的，我觉得，呃，讲重点吧，就是他认为这个起亚的链，第一个就是更安全，起亚的链条，它是基于这个 UTXO 模型的，比这个账户模型更加呃安全可靠。呃，另外呢，就是在这个智能合约 NFT 的这个智能合约的这种。嗯，这个形式有所不同。呃，账户模型的呢，它的这个呃智能合约是在这个 NFT 这个资产的外面啊啊，另外去写一个这个智能合约。而起亚的这个智能合约呃交易这块，它是可以直接写到 NFT 呃这个自己这个呃资产里面的啊，所以就对在交易的时候呃不需要你去读懂什么嗯。呃要要会，呃，智能，呃，合约啊、呃，要看得懂，呃，不需要，所以它的操作会更简单，交易也会更简单，啊、呃，嗯，不一定非要通过中间的交易市场进行交易。Okay, um, I know, uh, m a m a d v e r s e is the first or maybe the only one. I don't know. <laughs> uh, in in Chia ecosystem, uh. You you have the on-chain NFT 
plan, right? Correct, so, yep. Yeah, that's very special. And uh, I, I remember Chris uh, discussed that with Bram uh, a long time ago uh, about that. <laughs> Uh, so. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, it's a, it's definitely been a little bit of a controversial topic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, what are the advantage, and uh, do you have any uh, challenge to do that on chain NFT? Well, one of the challenges that we've definitely had is a little bit of backlash from people maybe not necessarily understanding fully. Um, what it means to put um, an NFT on chain. Um, the advantage, the main advantage is as long as Chia is around, your image will be available to, inco uh, to, to have. Um, so that's the main thing about putting um, NFTs on chain is it adds another added layer of security, even on top of all of these uh, crazy things um, that Chia has has kind of um, has done right, so it's even going above and beyond um, um, kind of Chia's uh, um, um, initial standard. But I, they uh, they will eventually like they will probably eventually um, go this route as well. I think it's kind of putting uh, NFTs into uh, um, the chain itself is I think going to be uh, the standard. Um, here in the new in the near future it just it's it's Im they're immutable on the blockchain right so they're very um they're they're very like i mean like like drew was saying he's had problems with his art being stolen and um there's a, a lot of um I guess uh, arguments in the NFT community over IP and NFTs. Um, the uh, a lot of the community follows Ryder Ryder Rips and Omakasi, who's kind of stole the BAC um, uh, BAYC the the Apes Yacht Club um, NFTs. But by uh, putting our images onto the blockchain, we negate this. Um, and one of the other things that we're adding uh, onto the blockchain with them is a limited use license. Um, so people can technically actually have a piece of a document that proves ownership of uh, a limited ownership of the image. Okay, but uh, my question is, uh, especially for Drew, uh, maybe. Uh, if you want to store the NFT image on the chain, it, that's the size of the image has to be limited, right? Correct. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They yep. have. They ha we have had to scale it back a little bit. Um. Honestly, right now when I when I'm drawing, I'm on a uh, 2,000 by 48 by 2,000 by 48 plane, so the, the pixel density is pretty high, right? It is rather large. It's it's higher than the 1080p we get in a lot of TVs. It's kind of at that 4K range. So when I'm producing this, it's a high quality image. And then Chris will work his magic and scale it back a little bit, but not lose a lot of that quality. So Chris has uh, been able to kind of mess with a lot of my artwork. And I'm like, that looks cool. It still looks the way I intended when I drew it at, in the first place. So I'm not losing everything. And you're not going down to this, this big high res image all the way down to eight pixels. Yeah. And, and I don't know if you guys can hear me now. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Like, much better. Oh, okay. So oh. we are also going to be providing like a traditional uh, URL in the NFT to the high res image. So like a, a, an owner of a, mar a space market will have both, right? Like the galleries will be able to pull out the URL that we're hosting, but also the entire image will be stored there in the event that something goes wrong. So like if we were to disappear, uh, if the entire Chia NFT community were to disappear, if IPFS were to have some sort of major flaw that left it unable to perform its duties. Uh, you know, these these contingencies are all captured by the fact that we're also encoding like 200 kilobytes of the image on chain, which will be usable basically directly to my reading. Okay. Uh, uh, Chris, uh, welcome you back. Uh, uh, give me a break so I can translate into Chinese, okay? <laughs> sure, yeah, <laughs> sorry. <wrong. laughs> 嗯，刚才提到就是他们这个项目有一个非常大的特点，就是，呃，也是 Chris 最早一直坚持的，就是他们想把这个 NFT 做在链上，数据就存在链上。
关于这件事情呢，呃，不管是在不光是在起亚，在其他的很多的这个区块链上也有这种讨论，就是 NIP 的存储的问题，图像的存储的问题。当然，主流的意见是不能存在这个链上，啊、呃，但是 Chris 呢，他比较比较倔啊，他他非要去存在链上。那存在链上的这个好处就是，只要起起亚的这个区块链不消失，没有。湮灭，那么你的这个 NFT 这个作品就永远不会，呃，消失，啊，那现在的普遍的方案呢是这个把这个哈希数据存在这个区块链上，但是图像本身是通过 URI 指向的一个呃中心化的服务器也好，或者是 IPFS 服务器也好，存储这个呃数据，呃，这是主流的这个做法。那我估计他们呢也是想做一种创新。那么是想把这个 NIP 直接存在这个链上，但是这个就是导致一个问题，就是这个本身这个数据量的大小的问题。刚才我问的也是这个问题，那解释了很多啊，呃，我我也记不住这么多啊，确实是太长了。那里边呢，就是主要的意思呢，就是呃，他做了一个压缩算法，呃，猪呢，他是画的都是高清的，就是两两千两二二零二四吧，二零二四乘二零二四这么大的一个一个图，都是高清的图。但是呢，你这种这么大尺寸的图是没办法存在链上的，所以 Chris 呢，他用了一种算法，把它进行了压缩，但是又不会过度的，呃，就是减少这个图像的细节，是用这种方式。那，那么这个呢是呃他们现在的一种做法，但是其实他们现在也提供了第二种选项，就是跟传统的这个是一样的，你可以把它存在这个，呃，这个 IPFS 这种这种。这种服务器里面也是可以的。啊 ，OK， 呃、um, ，actually that's very interesting. Um, I really want to uh hear more about uh, Chris. Uh, what what's what's he thinking about, and how did it, how did he、uh, do it? You know, uh, but he we lost him again, right? Yeah, yeah. He said he'd be right back. So, <laughs>、uh, I, I, yeah, that's a little bit of a trade secret too. We can definitely tell you off.、Uh, we can tell you um, um, off the record later, Jack. Okay,、uh, no problem. So, uh, 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 Drew, can you show us what's the difference between uh, the high resolution uh image you you created by yourself and、uh, after uh, uh, scale back? Actually, I can't. Chris, Chris has those images. You have to get them from him.、Oh, so what、okay. I've done on my side is I've taken all the artwork and then I forward it and send it over to Chris, and then he does all of his scale back that he needs to. So it's a little bit different, but not not a lot, Jack. It honestly does look really really cool. So yeah, once Chris gets back, we'll have to bug him about it. He should have it, and well, hopefully he's having it if he's not on his phone still. <laughs> okay.、Uh, yeah. Yeah. These yeah. are all examples that we can we can provide.、Uh, um... Later, it, it 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 doesn't scale back too much. Um, uh, well, I'm I'm gonna. <laughs> I think we're 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 trying to、look. we're trying to get them to under under two hundred kb. Um, that、yeah. that'll that'll make sense to you, I believe. Okay. Okay. So so the regular images are up to like five megabytes, uh, <laughs> four or five megabytes, and then we're scaling them back to about two hundred kilobytes to、uh, get them onto the. Network,、uh, which so, yeah, is the、uh, massive difference, Jack. Honestly, that's a huge difference when it comes into the art world, right? You go from five megabytes all the way down into kilobytes. You yeah, feel like you're、yeah. gonna lose a lot of artwork, but I've been rather impressed of how well it has turned out, and it doesn't look bad at all. That was my biggest fear was when Ryan first approached me about doing this eight,、uh, eight pixels and stuff. It's because that way they can keep the file size down, right? That's the biggest focus, especially where. A lot of projects are launching on the NFT networks and platforms and stuff like that, and they want to be able to keep it low scale. But for me, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to kind of let's let's push the envelope, and that's exactly what we're doing here. Yeah. 呃，刚才他们谈到就是这个数据大小的问题啊。一个高清的图呢，大概一张的话，大概是四四到五兆的这个呃大小啊。那么通过这个压缩了以后，大概就在两百 K 啊，两百 K 左右。呃呃，一般的我们会认为，从那么大的一个高清图缩小缩小到这个2 0 0 K 的话，它会丧失很多细节的啊、呃，就是呃没有惨不忍睹啊。但啊、呃，似乎呃他们已经做到了，嗯、呃，丧失的细节很少。那我刚才本来想让他们展示一下，就是高清图和这个2 0 0 K 的这个图的区别，他们两个人手都没有
还要等这个 Chris， 他 Chris 不知道在干嘛，但是在拉肚子还是在在干嘛？呃，他一会儿要回来，呃，再给他再给大家展示一下。呃，如果他正好在电脑边上的话。Okay, that's that's very good. So, um, uh, could you guys tell me or tell us what is the best NFT you 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 think in in Chia ecosystem? <laughs> or the or the worst. <laughs> you want to take this one, Drew? You oh, got man. a very you got lots of opinions. Um, uh, I, I'm more of a degen. I love all the NFTs. I have I I pretty much own one of every single project. Um, I'm not verified in a lot of the uh, discords, but I own I own tokens. <laughs> uh, there, there there's definitely a lot I. I don't like if I'm being completely honest. Um, I'm not going to call them out. I, I, as one artist to another, right? Somebody has put time into doing something like that to create that artwork, whether they like it or not. Um, there's a lot of it that I just absolutely despise, um, just because of the quality from it, and it's just not for me. But the 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 space rats is one I've been keeping an eye on, and uh, our other marmots there as well. There's a few marmots that I've been looking at as well and enjoying what they're creating so i'm definitely keeping an eye on my opportunity to kind of sweep in and, and grab a couple of these that's for sure yeah one of, one of my favorite projects right now is actually green horizon with uh, yes. Kate, with katie. Um, katie and jm from xch central she's doing oil painting nfts um so that's one i'm definitely looking forward to uh, what's the name i i i lost it uh, Kate. uh it's called green horizon Green Horizon. Uh, uh, Correct. Yeah. You you can show on the screen. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I can probably bring it up for you. Hold on a second here. Green. 刚才问他们就是他们喜欢或者是不喜欢的这个在提亚这个 NFT 上，呃，现在已经发布的，他们有哪些是他们喜欢的，哪些他们不喜欢的？呃，当然他们。呃，都有啊，但是，呃 ，Ryan 呢，可能更更更佛系一些。他说，呃，基本上他都收藏了，呃，都喜欢啊，都不想得罪人。但这个作为艺术家的 j 呢，就是他有，他有他的这个艺术审美，所以他会有一些呢，他确实不喜欢，但他他又不太好去点名啊。呃，这个也是跟个人的有有关系。呃，更多的他们是在谈他们喜欢的，所以我们让他秀一秀他喜欢的，我们看看作为艺术家角度。Yeah. Can you see my screen here? That's the little little boy with glass. <laughs> ah. I don't see it on my side, Ryan. Oh no. Okay. No. Can you can you give him a screen share and share the screen? How do I cancel this? Uh, no. <laughs> What did I do here? Okay, stop. There it is. Okay, maybe because somebody else was already sharing their screen. Sorry, Jack. Go ahead. Ah, sorry. I just wanted to see if you could see my screen, but apparently not. I couldn't see it, anyways. Oh. Okay. No. Okay. Yeah, maybe you type on the, on the. Uh, oh yeah, I can do that. Yeah, sorry. Good screen. idea. <laughs> I forgot. There's a chat room. I'm not. Yeah. I don't use Zoom very often. Oh. Mm -hmm. Chat. It's right there. There we go. Okay. Okay, that's your favorite. Your favorite. Uh... Yeah, that's one of my. That's one of my favorites. I don't think I have a favorite. They're all. They all. I think all of the the NFT projects in Chia are bringing something to the table. Um, that it's a little bit different. Everybody's got a little bit different take on it, and uh, I'm excited for like all the projects. I think there's room for for everybody, right? It's not just, uh, um, you know, kind of like a battle of who's the best. It's just, you know, I think um, if we all work together, that's gonna go a long way because um, the NFT space currently doesn't work like that. So, okay. Yeah. Uh... <clears throat> 他已经把他喜欢的那个就是 Green Horizon， 呃 ，Horizon NFT 打到这个公屏上，大家可以去看啊。So, uh, how, uh, maybe you introduce more about the the marmot, you, uh, Drew, yeah, this this purple one. How 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 you uh, created? Why you yeah. create like this? <laughs> 
<laughs> so that's what I said, right? Like coming into this project, it, this was completely new to me. And I sat, I sat down with Ryan and I said, so what do you, like, what are you after exactly? He says, uh, a space marmot. I said, what? <laughs> he goes, I want a space marmot. I went, what do you, what do you mean? He goes, well, put a marmot out in space. I said, huh? And just go crazy. I'm like, all right, cool. So that's what I said, right? For me personally, I've always grown up drawing portraits and like detailed landscapes, uh, animals, wildlife, everything. So to take this and kind of scale it back to more of a um, less complex, but yet still entertaining and, and just a fun approach is kind of what I did here. And I, I just kind of went for that. Okay, we're going out in space. Let's make things not realistic, obviously. And let's kind of push the boundaries a little bit with the colors and stuff like that. Purple um, is my favorite color. So I started with purple and just kind of built off the layers from there. And then each of those little kind of jagged little waves are its own layer within Procreate. So that actually allows me to go in and I can tweak that color. So if I don't like the shade of that properly, I'm able to go in and just move a slider a little bit and adjust some of the wavelengths and stuff. And that allows me to change that color and that scope of what I'm after, right? And I can go in and manipulate everything. I've uh, We've got some pretty cool stuff that we haven't shown yet that it's going to be coming in uh, when we're ready to launch and get our mint going and stuff like that. But yeah, the, the process to get going was a bit of an interesting one and it was fun too. I think that was the biggest part for me is because this is a little bit out of my realm. I've had a lot of fun and enjoyment creating all of this artwork because it's not normally something I typically do. So it was cool. Okay. Uh, uh, I 土拨鼠刚才看到那个紫色的它是怎么去创作的啊就是最早他们是希望就是只是他个人喜欢很多的这个乐趣啊。Yeah, that's cool. Um, so about the um, uh, mammal uh, what's the benefit for for the collectors? So the, be the benefit of, for the collectors of our project is they're going to be uh, owners of one of the very first NFTs of its kind. Um, we got a very, we got a very, a very. Um, chia centric community um with a lot of the um, you know big names in the uh, chia community and uh you know you're you're helping to um um save uh, an endangered species at the end of the day right like this is one of the benefits of of nfts is being able to give back and to, like and for us giving back to charity is one of the the major benefits i think of of things like nfts and i think it's something that's not seen as much as it should be in the uh general nft space so uh it's something that we hope to bring to uh to chia so uh, uh charity is going to be one of the um the big things that we focus on so uh, a benefit is just being able to to know that you're helping out um whether it be locally or or here in in Canada, you know, depending on on which charity we decide to uh, to go with next. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that means I I hope one um, member was uh, an IP and I uh, of course I I know I donate ten percent to to yeah. the foundation yeah. already, and uh, then I just keep it and uh, hope one day it will grow up. Or something like that <laughs> yeah well um like this the, unfortunately i don't want to promise um speculate on on price right because that's really not what we're looking for we're we're looking to provide um the community with um a place to go and hang out and a place to, to learn about nfts and and the community um 
unfortunately, you know, it's one of those things where we do have things planned. We can't really get too too into it. We do have uh, kind of touch. We'll touch on number nine here too. Um, we do have a a, a little <laughs> bit of an internal roadmap. Um, we, we like to stay away from it, but we do have some ideas going forward. And uh, so one of the benefits for, you know, somebody like you that owns our, our NFTs is as Chia progresses, all of the utility that comes to the NFTs in the future, we will be bringing to our collection as well. So things like having NFTs, being able to own other NFTs, um, possibly being able to customize your NFTs. Um, one thing that we've definitely been looking and talking about is maybe eventually one day um, when it's supported being able to airdrop different weapons and hats and accessories and um, just little things. So um, like once you actually have your Marmotverse NFT, that is essentially like the beginning of your entrance into our own little world that we're building essentially here over time and um yeah there'll be more definitely more information on on some of these things uh, in the near future it's yep. soon tbd we we, we want to get the mint out first jack so um yeah. yeah making sure that that's a smooth process for everybody is like number one on our plate right now um, but once we can actually have you guys own your own NFTs, then from there we can start bringing in more utility and more fun things. Um, because a lot, like, I, I don't know, like a lot of people don't realize, but like the mint process itself, um, is quite difficult. It's not, it's, it's not an easy process like it is on some other chains. Um, a little bit more of a difficult process. Uh, well,问了他就是关于如果我是一个妈妈沃斯的这个持有者,我到底有什么好处啊? 他们是非常热爱这个动物的 就在这里边一起去玩NFT，但是呢，呃，并不是说他们没有一个详细的计划，是有的，只不过现在还不太方便透露。呃，但是有可能包括就是像你可以定制化自己的NFT啊，或者是用这个NFT和其他联盟在一
the main thing is just like there isn't any nfts yet right so we just want to make sure that we have nfts before we start making any promises because the um, you can't just make promises with tokens you, you actually need the nfts themselves and that is our 100 percent main focus the artwork jack is actually all done like that's the biggest thing is yeah. we're, we're set we're ready to go we're just kind oh. of waiting now at this point so the artwork is already created i, I for me i'm finished on my side so now i just kind of wait for chris and then they kind of get to do what they have to do and i'm honestly i'm already started on the next project just a little bit yeah and side. for that note i've already done the first Please. test run <laughs> there yes, we go hey, hey, we, we've done the first test run of marmots they're they're not the right ones but there are two thousand of them <laughs> so uh yeah so we're still like the today is going to be a beta run with some changes that i made to the code Nice. And we're hoping that we get some uh, some usable varmints today, maybe tomorrow, and then we're gonna post them, and people will be able to see what we're they're working with permanently. Today or tomorrow? That's soon. oh yeah yeah we're very close to, to having the complete collection done. So uh, these days you always uh, head down and on on the programming, right? <laughs> uh, that's crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's good, actually yeah. a lot of work. So uh, Drew made <laughs> way more art than we expected. Uh, whoops. So now we need to, now stitching it together uh, is a lot more complicated than originally planned. <laughs> okay. Uh, 那他们现在呢，就是刚才还是继续一个那个话题。他们现在呃，实际上嗯，已经做好了，在这个。图片上已经都做好了准备了，注入的工作已经做完了，他该画的图他都画好了。那么现在主要还是呃聚焦在这个 CAT， 呃到底怎么变成这个 NFT 啊、呃？这个里面还有一些细节问题需要需要去落实。Chris 刚才又冒出来了，他这个说，呃，明天或者是后天，他就可以给大家展示啊、呃、他们现在最近的这个成果了。Yeah. That's that's very cool. Yeah. 啊、uh, 啊。By the way, Chris, can you, can you show us some of uh, your pictures now, or are you you? Uh, I'm in the computer? car right now, so I'm, I'm oh, driving right now. So All right. yeah, I found Sorry. okay, Chris. Chris, I want to talk to you right now. Can, well, we got you. Can, can I show the one you sent as a sample? Yes, yes, for sure. Because those are all errata, right? Like those aren't real, so they're they're all okay. fine to show. Okay, let me see if I can show you this. 啊，现在 Chris 是在开车，所以他断断续续的。嗯 ，Can you see that? Oh, I get it. You got to go to view options, and then I can choose whose screen that I look at. Okay. So shared screens. I'm on Edward right now. If I move to Drew, I can see the marmot. Okay. It's at the very top. Um. Yeah, I see it. You see it? Do you see it, Jack? No. So, um, can, maybe if Edward stops sharing his screen for a second, um, we can. Uh... 那现在把他们已经做好的一张图给我们看一下啊，就是剧透一下啊，剧透一下。哎，他现在正在操作。嗯，是这个网。There we go. Edward Lewis. <laughs> 大家能看见吗？大家能看见吗？看见的敲个一吧。我是没看见。叫 you see it, right? right? Who? Sneak peek. You see it? Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, there's just like a little option at the top where it it'll show you all the different shared screens, and there's two of them right now. There's you and Edward. So if you just click, um, actually, can you do side by side mode? No. So if you go to your view, if you go to your view options, um, you can you can change between all the shared different shared screens. Little zoom uh, alpha for everybody that doesn't. Know. <laughs> okay, uh, I I tried to change that option already, but uh, still didn't see it. Oh, I see you. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least see me. <laughs> <laughs> 
duck, 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 duck go. What's that? That's Edward playing around. <laughs> I don't know what duck, duck, go is. Oh, <laughs> it's a Google alternative. Um, anyways, so yeah, uh, what's the, so? I guess uh, the next the the next question I see here is for Chris. Oh, okay, uh, I saw this. Updating the I saw uh, Chia this. plot. <laughs> oh, now you can see it. There we go. Yeah, uh, a mammoth with uh, a sword, a purple sword. Is that? A lightsaber, yeah. yeah. The lightsaber. So that it, Chris has taken that and actually manipulated it down to the quality that everyone will see. So it really hasn't changed all that much from what my original artwork looks it, like. That's unoptimized as well, just to be clear. So there's still optimization work to do. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So Chris, you you make a new uh, uh, decoding uh, program uh, to do that, right? Or uh, yeah, so we're it's part of our generator. So it's a, a program written in Node.js that I've heavily modified, uh, in, like JavaScript program, and it's going to handle creating the images and the metadata and possibly the conversion or not, depending on what we end up ultimately doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. The conversion might be a separate step. And then minting them is actually, and this is what Brian alluded to with the SM1, uh, is actually going to be a very manual process because we're taking reward addresses, like royalty Brian, addresses. you're sharing your screen, eh? Uh, yep. I was just kind of scrolling through some of the examples of the, uh, the art here. Right. Joe, oh, dude. <laughs> Whoopsies. Uh, I'm out oh. of it now. <laughs> I forgot that that was in there. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm trying to go to our. 刚才提到他们这个呃 ，Chris 提到他们这个算法，就是压缩算法。嗯、呃，是是他们他根据一些开源代码自己，然后然后呃编出来的啊，所以。嗯 ，Chris 是一个，我给大家提一下，是一个，呃，加拿大比较资深的一个做网络安全的一个工程师啊，曾经也是在一个大厂，呃，血压区块链的这个很多理解都是，呃，还是非常透彻的。那在这个血压官方的 Keybase 里面也经常是，嗯，他很客观，他嗯不会说是，呃，欣赏血压就什么都是血压好。呃，所以起亚里边的这些问题，他也都毫不客气的指出来，啊，我蛮喜欢他的，啊。Cut down. Um, yeah. How come I can't get what I want though? Go to the photos in Twitter or media. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that works. Aha.、Uh, <laughs> so there's another. There's oh, there's our oh, that's there's another thing that we're doing. Um, hopefully we can.、Uh, Have a little bit of motion in、uh, our artwork. Happy birthday! <laughs> yeah, that, that's the happy birthday marmot that we've been throwing around to everybody.、Oh, uh, which one? The uh, this one here. The happy、this、birthday、one. marmot. Okay.、Uh, so ho hopefully, that's something that we can bring、uh, later: is、uh, gifts and、uh, other fun、um, media for、uh, NFTs. Yeah. We're gonna try. Well, what we're gonna we're gonna try to get them on chain, but、uh, we we don't know yet. That's definitely a lot of、um, playing around.、Um, mm. So we're 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 looking into、uh, expanding into into.、Um... Oh, there's the other one too. So this is the one that we got on the test net actually. So this marmot right here is actually on test net. I think nine or ten. Ten、um, on test net ten. Yeah. So. This was that. This uh, uh, image right here is actually the first、uh, um, marmot technically encoded onto the blockchain. But、uh, mm -hmm. so that's uh, uh, within two、uh, hundred gigabyte、uh, meter, right?、Um, yeah, I'm not sure how much this one is. I I know that it was a crazy amount of one hundred and fifteen, one hundred and fifteen kilobytes, and it was the equivalent 
of I think just under a thousand transactions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 他这个图片，刚才大家看的这两个图片，在一百五十K，啊，所以它就是可以直接存在链上的。嗯。So, so you have you ever tried a transaction uh, between different uh, address? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we we tried using uh, Mint Garden Act. Actually, we uh, we were able to transfer one of the big. Uh, so because the NFT data doesn't move on chain during a transaction, when it's just the token aspect of it that, that changes ownership, uh, there's no like secondary 1,000 transactions when it's sold. Like that only occurs one time when we mint it, and then the transactions when it gets sold are just normal Chia transactions like any other NFT. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Chris, how about the uh, the data layer? You, 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 do you know anything about the data layer of uh, Chia? Uh, is that used for uh, NFT storage? Do you think that? It, it could be, but it's similar to IPFS in a sense if you start using it as persistent storage in that you need people to subscribe and like host those nodes. Uh, so it's not like a guarantee. Uh, it's certainly better than like a file server or just like web storage somewhere, but it's it's like a an intermediary step. Um, there is, however, the possibility that if enough people subscribe to a node and it becomes like relatively permanent in that sense, that it could achieve the same level of permanence as a blockchain, but we're not there yet, which is why the marmots are going on chain. Like it, we will leverage data layer if data layer meets our requirements and it looks like it will sometime in the future. Mm -hmm. OK， 呃，刚才就是我问了一下，就是关于这个起亚的这个 data layer， 呃，能不能够用于这个 NFT 的这个存储？呃 ，Chris 说呢，呃，有可能，但是现在呃还不是最后确定。呃 ，data layer 实际上有点类似这个呃 IPFS， 有有有近似的地方，它也是需要你这个登录啊，也要有节点的维护者。啊，有需要有节点维护的，啊，所以，呃，有相似的地方，但是会比 IPFS 更先进一些。嗯 ，OK。So how fast if you download this uh, uh image from the blockchain to to your local? Have you ever tried that? I have not actually. It's a good point. Mm -hmm. Um, that's a, that's a Chris question. I don't know if you heard. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry, I'm going for my mute button there. Uh, yeah, we have. Uh, we actually have an explorer that will query a node and pull the image directly from it. Uh, and it's relatively fast. I mean, it's as fast as the node will go. So it's just one HTTP request, and then it pulls back a whole bunch of A64 data. Mm -hmm. uh, 呃，他做了一个站点去下载，呃，速度还是呃蛮快的啊，蛮快的，不受什么影响。嗯 ，OK， that's cool. So, um, in Chia NFT, we can exchange NFT to another NFT, right? Directly, I mean. Uh, theoretically, yeah. Uh, yeah, eventually. Uh, I, I'm not sure. Uh, 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 NFT one is a very basic version of what Chia NFTs will eventually be. Um, I believe offers are going to be supported, but I, I'm not a hundred percent sure of that. I, um, I think they, I think they, they were saying that was going to be an NFT two, um, thing. Um, but yeah, like as whatever utility Chia ends up bringing to um, the NFTs, we will eventually update our NFTs to to do the same. Yeah. Or, or they'll just work because we are going to stay on standard. That's or important. it'll just or it'll just work automatically. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Chris, uh, one question <laughs> for you, because. Uh, we love the Chia plot a lot, uh, but uh, will you continue update the, the Chia plot? The Chia plot. Uh, I'm gonna get yeah. I'm gonna get back into it. I've just had a lot going on, and unfortunately, 
uh, between work and a number of other commitments, it's just been the the thing that's fallen off. Uh, and like, so I've been dedicating time to Chia, but because we're getting to the final reign of the uh, of the NFT sprint here, uh, and that's where a lot of the effort's been going is on the generator and working with Drew to make sure the images come out good. Like the one that he showed uh, with the the sword and the piece of armor and everything. Um, that was one of the few that came out looking pretty good. Uh, our initial runs were not, you know, like it, it, things were not in the correct order and everything. So we're still working through that. And that's where a lot of my time's been going. But once we get those sorted out, uh, the, the site will start getting my focus again. Okay. Uh, 刚才我问到 Chris, 他的这个, 因为他的这个, the Chia Pro's 这个博客已经停更一段时间了, 呃, 遇到一些事情，嗯，前一段时间，所以他后面忙完这个NFT，现在这个因为马上要上线了嘛，他主要的精力放在这个上面，�m，忙完以后他会继续更新他的这个博客。Okay, the final question for 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 you guys, uh, do you have any airdrop or giveaway plan for Chia in China community, just for promotion? Okay. <laughs> Ryan, do you want to take that? Because the answer is yes, but we don't know what the format is yet. Um, but we are going to, as as the launch comes closer, start running promotional events. Uh, we we have obviously the run of NFTs, but we also still have six SM1 tokens that we have some preliminary plans for. But until we have like a firm launch date, we don't want to uh, to start sort of planning for that or anything but like like really with the community like we want to get the date in place and then yeah. plan around that so absolutely 100 percent yes jack and uh when we start uh doing our giveaways and stuff a little bit closer to launch date i will make sure that you know and we will have one specifically for our um chinese community um we'll, we'll oh. dedicate one for you guys for sure <laughs> thank you uh 那么他们也和其他的那个来的项目方一样，也为我们也会为我们七二一China社区的朋友们准备一些这种空投或者是呃抽奖之类的。呃，只不过要等到这个呃上线的时候，因为现在他们的这个呃还有很多不确定性，就
really a uh, international community. I mean, cheer. So uh, I really appreciate. I, I have fun, a lot of fun in that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. And I uh, hope we can uh, talk uh, again next time. Okay. Absolutely. And, and if anybody has any questions, they can reach out to us uh, in our Discord and we'll try to translate it up as best as we can for everybody. Mm, okay. 好，大家这个刚才我们就是互相拍了一下马屁啊，这个特别是 Chris 就说这个，呃，因为我们两个交流的时间也比较长，交流比较多，他认为就是在起亚里面，嗯、呃、嗯，河马还是做了一些贡献啊，这个我就不翻了，这种，呃，互相的表扬了一下啊，嗯、呃，那么就，呃，感谢大家，今晚的这个 AMA 到此结束，还是一样的，大家到小助理没有。小助理联系方式的就联系一下，如果有的话，还是跟以前一样，我们都会有这个起亚 in China 的这个 NIP 啊、呃，送送送给大家，到时候我们可以有一些奖品和抽奖的机会啊，谢谢 ，OK， see you guys， take care， thank you Jack， take care， have a, have a good evening， yeah you too， bye， bye。